welcome into Five on Two. That's where we start. Many residents still cleaning up after this weekend's very strong winds. Dayton Power and Light says the Northern Territory saw the majority of outages, but they were spread throughout their service area. Two News reporter Deborah Bogart joining us live in Huber Heights with more on our top story. Hey, you guys, check out this pile behind me now. This used to be an awning, if you can believe it or not, but last night it ripped from the roof, taking out some power lines in its course. Now, DPNL is saying they reported sustained winds of 25 to 30 miles per hour and then wind gusts of 50 to 60 miles per hour. And this mess in Huber Heights is just one example of what roofing companies are handling today. Castle Roofing spent part of the afternoon covering this roof in Huber Heights with tarp. The homeowner, Terry Carroll, says she was crocheting and watching TV around 6 last night when she heard her awning tear from her roof. Boom, I could hear it going, my awning going across the top of my house. And after making a couple phone calls, I looked out the front window and saw that it was laying in the street. It tore the power lines from her house, and at last check, she was still one of the 1,300 DPNL customers without power. DPNL telling 2 News their 50 crews have worked with mutual aid through the night to get to the outages as quickly as possible. As far as the damage to Carol's house, Chris Walter with Castle Roofing says they have been seeing and repairing similar damage across the Miami Valley. He says ahead of a storm with strong winds, taking a few extra moments of pre-planning can save a lot of heartache. Go around the house, make sure things are secure, maybe uh, pull in your lawn furniture and things like that. And says to take Carol's lead if your house falls victim to wind damage and call in the professionals. We do this stuff every day, so you know we don't want anybody getting hurt. Yeah, it's not, it's not worth the risk falling off a ladder or slipping down the roof or, or something like that. Dayton Power and Light says with the really saturated ground paired with the wind down, power lines are a big issue. So they say to treat every line as if it were a downed power line. And another thing is the outage is still going on. They say they're a little more hard to get to. So if you are experiencing an outage, they hope to have everything repaired by this afternoon. Excuse me, by later this evening. For now, we're reporting live in Huber Heights. Deborah Bogart, 5 on 2.